Welcome back guys. Last video I finally managed to get my first Sunfire piece from the Colosseum after over 40 plus completions for a new elite clue step requirement. Coincidentally it was on the day that the Sunfire armor and Echo Crystals both got a big drop rate buff. But I never did finish my other big goal in that video which was to charge my Dishonest Quiver to the permanently charged version for better stats. So I'm going to be finishing up this goal today. And finally, as a big bonus, I will be gambling all the quivers I've gotten for a chance at the pet after. Enjoy the ride. I need to get 150,000 Sunfire Splinters total from the Coliseum to permanently upgrade the quiver. On average, it seems to be about 2,000 Splinters a completion. However, if you train in the Quivers with a recent update, you can get an extra guarantee 4,000 on top. I'm not going to be trading the Quivers though for the Splinters because the long-term goal is to greenlock all the pauses, so I need those Quivers to trade in for the pet chance instead. I should be done charging the Quiver by around 70 completions this way. Oh, nice. Dude, we get so many now. Like, they changed this shit, and now, like, the Sunfire drops are happening all the time. These items are definitely going down in price a lot, so... I've used up a lot of money here at this place, so I think... <laughs> I'm gonna listen to chat and uh, put this in the desk coffer right now. How much is this worth? Okay, it's worth 15 mil. Let's uh, put that 15 mil in there and gain some of that back. Holy shit, I swear I started with, like, 80 mil or something at the Coliseum. Oh my god, what? I got this thing again? Shit! This is uh, a second one. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try our best to, to uh, leave this this one, I guess. Yeah, because uh, I want to get a, a dupe. That'd be sick as hell. Oh, no. Never mind, we lost it. What the heck? Oh, huh. Onyx. Yo, uh, that's right. You can actually get Onyx from this place. Uh, okay, well, interesting. You can you can get that. Wow, this would be a six mil in regular drops if I clear this. So I'm gonna try, of course. Oh, nice. That was a good spec KO. We managed to get it though. But this is sick loot. Good splinters. There we go, we're gonna claim this and get ourselves some dupe legs. Yay! Look at that. Just need to get a dupe hat, I guess. And then the rest goes to Death's Coffer. I think we're just gonna keep these. Actually, how many do we have? I'm currently not using the recoil effect, because I don't think we really need it for this. But yeah, we have five extra now. I'm gonna go the other way. Because it's already used up. If one side's used up, make sure you go to the other side. Like so. I have still this side and that side I can uh, use. So. so, as you can see, I'm in a predicament where my three penalty choices pretty deep into the Coliseum is pretty rough. But I do have beasts which I've been able to overcome many a times with difficulty. But I've come up with a new plan to deal with bees even easier. And this is going to be good practice because I need to do... A combat achievement in the near future where there will be bees involved so how am i going to tackle bees is using the spell called undead grasp that i can put into my rune pouch alongside my normal death charge in my zeta spell book and undead grass is just a regular spell that can do damage but i can actually use it to kill the bees anything that can hit bees will instantly kill it right but undead grass is a magic spell right meaning i could attack with it from far away and that's what you want you don't want bees to get near you so if I pick bees, I should be able to use Undead Grass to kill it pretty much anywhere, no matter how far it is. And it doesn't matter if I have Myopia, because a manually used spell can have maximum distance, regardless of Myopia penalty or not. Seems to work really well. I've used it multiple times already. So that's good. Yes! Oh my god, before one mistake. Alright, uh, be still really freaking hard on the boss. Jesus. Because I was trying to manually do this while dodging. It's so easy. Uh, it's not easy. It's so hard. That was really tricky. 
Oh, I hate 60 HP runs, man. Really hard run. Oh, man. What a scam on the splinters, though. Oh, hell yeah. 45k glory, though. I mean, the game definitely knew what it was setting me up for. That's for sure. First time I lose the quiver. But it's better to just claim because 7,000. And I have n basically no, no supplies anyway. So we got to just claim this. 20 no wait 14k left oh my god i can definitely get it today then here's a really big tip for those of you guys doing a lot of coliseum that will probably save you in really tough situations like a double south spawn so a big tip is cleaning up the freemanic dudes as quick as possible a lot of people try way too hard when it comes to cleaning up the ranger freemanic because they spend too much time putting on like a full gear switch for it and piety just to smack the guy once with the special attack Honestly, it's not worth it if it's double spawn. Literally, all you need is Comet Pot, God Sword, and maybe three melee switches. And you can just kill it like that. No need for Piety or anything. So, as you can see, I did that. And this makes it so that you have maximum time to deal with more dangerous things. Nice. Very good. Very good. Nice. We got our dupe legs now. Wait, no. No, we, we don't have a dupe mass. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, this is going to go into the desk coffer to make back for what we lost. Yeah, wow. I'm so glad this thing is still like 27 mil. Yeah. Yay, desk coffers. Let's go. There we go. That was uh, very worth it. 6,000 freaking splinters, man. Hell yeah. We're, we're, we're totally getting it today. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. Yes, this is it. Uh, this is it for the quiver, Asterix. Oh boy, that was a tough one. Ha! Huh. I was uh, one short of 70 KC, but... Eh, high chance though, we still gotta do more for the pet. Alright, to permanently charge this quiver, I guess, we can't just add splinters to it. We have to uh, offer it to the shrine here. In this part of town. Blessing the Zenith's Quiver will cost 150,000 Sunfire Splinters. Once blessed, it will no longer need to be charged. Hell yes, please. You will not be able to get your Splinters back. Well, let's, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. What the hell? The no's, of course. They always put the no on top. But that's what I want. I want to charge this thing. There we go. Bless the Zenith's Quiver. Oh, it's nice and shiny looking. And the new stats is still the same. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually higher. Because you get this as well when it's charged. You get the extra 10 range and um, one extra range strength. So I just need to put on my T-bone. I can show you what I mean. I just wish it would show it even without a weapon. Because then the weapon stats kind of cover everything. So you have to do math to find a difference, unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, basically, this thing here now uh, has an extra 28 range accuracy, as you can see. And... The four extra range strength, as you can see. And it's permanent now. Now I'm going to turn this into the, to the Max Cave version. Alright, so we're going to use the Quiver on the Max Cave. You can't use the Uncharged version. Only the Blessed version can be combined. So we're going to do this now and get the Max Cave version. It doesn't look too bad. I kind of wish they just went with the full cape look. I think they're fixing that, right? Or something, but yeah, it's it's cool. Yo, Rice Cup from post editing. I'm just here to show you what the Max Cape Dishonest Quiver looks like now. And yeah, as you can see, they did change it so that it's just a normal shape of a Max Cape with the quiver on top. What do you think? So I have enough splinters now, but I will go for a few more KC because I want to gamble for the pet in old school meme style with 73 quivers. But mainly I just want to use the, the new charge cape because I have not been using it charged at all. Grind for the pet in style with our Izana's Max Cape. Okay, we got 70 KC now. Sweet. Just need to get four more quivers. It got blocked, so. Oh, damn, 23 minutes. Personal best. Let's go. Here's a massive tip for dealing with the hardest part of the ways, which is the double south spawn. When you are running towards the western side of the northwest pillar, 
when the wave begins as usual and you see two enemies on the south that you know will be able to see you make sure you run all the way to the northernmost side of the west side of the pillar because if you do that what happens is the closest guy to reaching you will see you first and then there will be a delay between the first guy and the second guy so the second guy will see you about two takes later or one take later something like that and what that does is it will create a big enough of a delay between the two that you should be able to flick their incoming attacks almost every time i wouldn't say it's guaranteed that it's going to work for every situation but it should allow you to flick most situations so that you do not die oh fucking hell dude let's go also, for those of you guys still learning the Coliseum, here's a nifty little Coliseum handicap ranking chart for you to use based on my experience. It is pretty good, and I still follow these general rules. Oh my god. Dude, that was so fucking fast-paced. Jesus, good thing I saved up. Oh, I would have died. I honestly forgot how fast the lights can hit you. You have to, like, immediately move or you're, like, dead. Alright, we got it, though. There it is. The last quiver to get to 73 quivers oh my god new pb2 as well which is nice sub 23 cool yeah now we have 73 leftover quivers it is time to gamble for the pet chance let's let's see if we can do it so what's the next batch of plans right i guess you guys want to check out this log first tomorrow we're gonna gamble our quivers our extra ones and see if we get the pet and um if we don't get the pet, then I'll continue to do a few Coliseums, like, most days. Just because I, I do like the content. It is fun, and I'm not dying so much anymore. So that's a plus. And, yeah, we do that until we get the pet, if the gambles don't work out. But most of the time, though, I'll be spending in Perilous Moon now. Because it is time to get all these items, particularly the Blue Moon stuff. I want make sure we have all four pieces of this for the master clue but we might as well just green lock right green lock them all because fun pvm content chill laid back so that's uh, the next main thing we're gonna start doing tomorrow all right guys here it is i have a full inventory of 28 uncharged quivers and we're gonna do this uh yeah 70 freaking three times all right guys it's gonna be nice and quick we're, we're not gonna milk this too hard i don't think so Let's go for it. Honestly, the dialogue here is pretty, pretty slow here. Oh, okay. Gamble for small heretic. Okay. Do I have a chance of getting it? And if I do, what, what do you think is the number of the quiver? Gamble. Here we go. Nope. Oh, he doesn't want to go with you. I'll make him go with me because we're going to keep on spamming this. All right. This is number two. Here we go. Yes. Oh, man. All right. This is number three. Good luck. He doesn't want to go with you. Oh my god. He does not want to go with me again. Alright. Number four. Right? Dude. What what even is the text message when, he, when you get it? Alright. This is number five. Somebody picked number five. So let's see if Mr. Vard is on the money on this one. Nope. It didn't work. This is number six. Yes. Number six. Doesn't want me. Rest in pieces. You gamble 250 fire capes? No, Jad. I have low faith. Yeah, I'm not you, Gozu. I'm not you. I'm different, you know? I have terrible RNG, uh, but in different ways. You know, usually the pet's not terrible. I don't know. Gauntlet Peck might have something to say about that, but today I'm feeling something here. All right, number seven, guys. Good luck. Nope. Not it. All right, what about number eight? Nobody picked number eight, so we're just going to quickly push this one in. Nope, nothing again. This is number nine. Nope. Put up your favorite prayers or whatever you got, yeah. This is number ten. Damn. I wish there was a, a variety in, in terms of the denial messages. It's always the same denial message. It's kind of kind of lame. All right, here we go. Nope, this is number eleven. Okay, number twelve. Somebody picked number twelve, right? Mm, no, it was Grant that picked... Oh, yeah. Uh, Ryugan, number 12. This is it. This is for you. Here we go. Number 12. Nothing. Number 12. Oh, I got it! I got it! I actually got it! Oh, oh my god, dude. Someone actually picked the... No 
<laughs> no way, dude. I didn't even see the message. I just thought the message was uh, otherwise, um, you know, I didn't get the pet. But number 12 was right. Ryugan 12. What the hell? You picked the right number. Oh, my God. We have to go for the back to back, obviously. Holy shit. I actually got it, dude. We green lock this content. Damn, I guess I, I won't really... Yeah, I don't really have too much incentive right now to do Coliseum un until they release part two of Coliseum. The the uh, endless Coliseum. And I'm guessing they're probably going to do cosmetics and stuff like that for, for that version of the Coliseum. So, yeah, shout out to the boys in the clan chat and the friends chat. So, thank you. And thank you to the heart sign. And, and thanks for all the homies that showed up here. Let's go for the back-to-back, -back, right? Somebody pick number 13 as well. Here we go. Do we have... Oh, it doesn't let me? Go die with a pet? Uh, oh, I get it back if I die with a pet. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, we could still do the back-to-back. -back. I still want to do it. So, we will grab this guy back and, uh, yeah, have a chat. But after, we go for the back-to-back. -back. Okay, let's see if we have this option again. Oh, you do? Let's do it again. <laughs> Imagine I get another one, then I'm actually I'm actually spooned. Like Omega Spoon. Oh no, no back to back guys. Probably in my best interest to save some, you know? Or or just to turn them in for splinters and stuff. Let's get 30 quivers worth of splinters, and then we'll keep 30 for I guess if I want to bring it to the wilderness or something, right? But yeah, the splinters will definitely come in handy. Also, we can check to see how many pets we have total now, I suppose. We have 36 now. And uh, I'll be doing some rumors, I guess, for the Quitzel transports for Perilous Moon. So who knows? That might give us this pet too. If we get super lucky, probably not. Yeah, we're at 36. That's pretty damn impressive. Never thought I would get this far, honestly. Like, just, just for the record, just trading in this quiver alone is 4,000 splinters. Way more than what you would get normally just from completing the entire Coliseum once. Uh, nearly double the amount, so. Either you do about 30 Coliseums, trade in the Splinters, and you can charge your your Dishonest Quiver fully. Or you do what I did, which is do like 70 of these. 464 mil in loot, right? But this doesn't track the potential value of the Splinters from the Dishonest Quiver. So if I trade in all 70 Dishonest Quivers... Then we're talking an extra 220 mil. So that's basically 700 mil right there in, in loot from 74 Coliseums. And that's not including the Rollis I lost. But if I got that, that would be an extra like 50 mil, 750 mil in um, 74 Coliseums. So that's 10 mil an hour. And you can do basically two of them an hour once you get good and so that could mean 20 mil an hour right now so this content is actually busted if you actually can do it that well obviously that's uh, that's like talking theoretical but let's just say you can do one an hour that's still 10 mil an hour which is insane so i was probably averaging like probably one and change an hour so yeah for me it was like 10 mil an hour crazy even if you can get half of that five mil an hour right and just do one completion every two hours, I think you still get five million hours. So it's still pretty insane if you invest and you get good at this content. Uh, the potential is crazy in terms of money and stuff. Question about the splinters. We can do a lot with these splinters. Like get per XP or something like that and make sunfire runes, which might be useful in the future for me. But mainly, I'm going to be using this to charge the tall null sticks of Ralos. Because we're going to try to figure out where we're going to use this uh, weapon for the special attack here. The Vision fires a powerful piercing blade that reduces target's defense by 10% of their magic level. Uh, the charged version lets me do it twice. So it could be 20% reduction based on their magic level per spec. So we're, we're going to be trying to figure that out. And I think challenge mode raise is pretty good because uh, it should be good on Ice Demon and things like Omhead. I already did like a preliminary research for it. But yeah, we're going to experiment and figure out where to use all this. 